good and safe time for you so we were doing num flow processes in clause systems already we have done constant pressure process and cons constant volume process in other words isobaric process and isochoric process constant temperature process isothermal process now we are going to analyze this process we'll see the state one change to state two with the law of constant temperature that means from point one that means state one to state two you are maintaining constant temperature that means you can apply state two equation which is p1 v1 over t1 is equal p2 v2 over t2 then you know that it is isothermal or constant temperature therefore t1 equal t2 so then you can cancel you can cut off t1 and t2 and you can end up with p1 v1 equal p2 v2 so in addition you can think in between state 1 and state 2 if you think of infinitesimally small intervals between 1 and 2 all these small small points governing the law pv equal constant that means p1 v1 p2 v2 p3 v3 p4 v4 there are many number of uh, sub states between 1 and 2 so therefore you can generalize as pv equal c that is the law governing this process so okay in addition if you want to find out dw which is work done you can find out using integral v1 to v2 pdv in order to do that you should have p with a function of v that means you you should have a relationship between p and v which is already you got pv equal constant as the law of the process so in addition you can find out heat transfer also change in internal energy which is du so if you want to do this mathematical analysis with further in determining dw du dq and all these properties belongs to state 1 and state 2 so you can share this with a video that we are going to do next we have reached to another point another process polytropic process in this political polytropic process you you can't simply define what the process is like constant volume constant pressure isothermal those are the is a particular physical meaning with you like constant pressure constant yeah. volume constant temperature so on. but here this is some sort of mathematical law like this law is little theoretical like but you have to remember like that the name is polytropic process but law is mathematical okay that law the polytropic process is governed by law pv to the power n is equal constant what is n n is index of compression or expansion or polytropic index this is polytropic index you have to remember in as polytropic index of this particular process because if it is compressing toward the volume decreasing side it is compression if it is other way around towards the increasing volume side then that is an expansion you have both compression as well as expansion from state 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 2 to 1 is compression 1 to 2 is an expansion okay then the you know clearly what is a polytropic process the polytropic process is a law with pv to the power n equal constant if it is expansion 
then it should be the volume increase inside that means 1 to 2 if it is compression it should be volume decrease inside that means 2 to 1 that's all so in in addition to this law you can apply your polytropic law huh? p1 v1 to the power n equal p2 v to the v2 to the power n that is one equation you can use similarly you can apply state equation which is p1 v1 over t1 equal p2 v2 over t2 for these two states 1 and 2 in addition if you want to find out dw which is work done you can integrate like previous similarly you will be able to find out heat transfer as well as change in internal energy okay so in order to do that you can use the law your non-flow energy equation also which is dq equal du plus dw so so this is also the analyzing this process and determining each and every heat transfer work transfer uh, change in internal energy all these quantities so you are given a video then you can watch it and understand how to do that we have reached the last process as the adiabatic process what is it it is similar to polytropic but index is difference what is it your adiabatic process is pv to the power gamma equal constant now you know what is gamma with your previous knowledge what is gamma gamma is cp divided by cv the ratio of specific specific heats so that is the special in this particular process your index of compression or your index of expansion that means adiabatic index it is a special one which is cp over cv so gamma is defined as cp divided by cv so your process is cv pv to the power gamma equal constant that is the law of the process your adiabatic process okay so this is all these other things are similar to polytropic process you can apply state equation you can apply adiabatic uh, process equation that means law of the process same as polytropic p1 v1 to the power gamma equal p2 v to the power gamma then state equal this one p1 v1 over t1 equal p2 v2 over t2 you have these two equations in addition you have to integrate in order to find out work done work done is equal pdv then you should be able, you can, you have to integrate in determining work done pdv then you know the you should have find out you should have used uh, the law between p and v otherwise you can't integrate so in addition it is required to find out heat transfer as well as change in internal energy and you can use non-flow energy equation which is dq equal du plus dw all these things are similar to polytropic we will do the same thing with upcoming video so that's all for the basic background knowledge for all these processes we'll do and nicely enjoy solving the question and analyzing these all these processes in upcoming videos okay have a safe time